ready for the it's getting dark today thought for today. I've mentioned that I'm almost done. I'm reading this book. Can you see it? There we go. Loser Think, How Untrained Brains Are Ruining America by Scott Adams. And uh, as I mentioned before, don't let the title scare you. It's not a harsh book. But on page 195, I don't know if I can show you that well enough, but on 195 he's got the section on context, and he tells a story about how he was doing a periscope. And if you're not familiar with periscope, it's just another way to broadcast yourself. He was doing a periscope, and suddenly people started in the comments going, boo, boo, boo. Got that too close. Is that better deal like that? I don't know. And he's freaking out. He's trying to figure out what, what has he said? What has he done that's got people freaking out? So now, now he's trying to figure out what's going wrong and continue to speak and stuff like that. And if you've ever been in a situation, that is just uh, painful, stressful. Do you know what it turned out to be? A cat. <laughs> Guess what his cat's name was? <laughs> and his regular, his regular uh, watchers knew the name of his cat, and the cat was walking behind him, and they were going, boo, boo, boo. What's the point? I thought it was really funny. What's the point? Basically, context matters, and that's why I call this section context. Context matters. That in that case, the context of the boos mattered. They weren't booing him. They were saying hello to his cat. And think in life. There are times where you might see something you just don't understand. It seems wrong to you. But once you understand the context, suddenly it all makes sense. And as I've argued in other videos, that's on you. You should actually make sure that you, before you react, you should, especially negatively, before you react, you should understand the context. And of course, I think you'd want people to do that for you too. So the thought for today is context matters. Oh, just in case you can see my high tech way of doing things. I mean, I, I have the toys to professionally edit these videos. I'm just too lazy. And I kind of like just the old school. But if you want to follow, look at this. Facebook is Alan's Thought for Today with a digit four instead of F-O-R. Twitter is Alan's Thought for T. They uh, wouldn't let me have something as long as the other one. And there's a website, which is Thought for Today, the number four again instead of F-O-R, dot video. If you want to find me directly, you can see on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and actually Periscope. Uh, my handle is Jagair Allen, which means I am Alan, a Norwegian, although I'm sure they say it differently. So J-E-G-E-R-A-L-A-N. And my, if you want to kind of find all my different sites, just go to alan.zone, alan.zone. Um, and, and do me a favor. Uh, tell me, do you, do you like the, uh, the card stuff? Put it in the comments. Tell me if you like it or not. <laughs> if you don't, definitely put it in the comments because I'll keep doing it if you don't say something. But it would be nice to know if you like that. And, you know, otherwise, I'm human. If you go to my Jay Gay or Allen accounts, you might see things that you find disturbing. Tell me. I actually do care. Be nice. But I do care. So either way, what was the thought for today? Do you remember? The thought for today was context matters. I love you. I'll see you again tomorrow.